Uh, hey guys, uh, McLean33 here. I know I haven't made a video in a while, but uh, I'm back. And today I want to talk to you about um, uh, the future of uh, cell phone companies out there um, and their progress on the LTE, long term evolution for 4G internet data. You know, I've been I've been asking myself, uh, the companies, uh, AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, the four big ones, you know, they're all trying to expand their 4G coverage, um, and they're trying to, you know, build more towers and get available, you know, make it more um, available to the public in different areas, which is all fine, except... Uh, Anybody out there who owns a smartphone will know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, every company besides Sprint uh, has limits on their data. Uh, for example, AT&T, they allow you to have 2 gigabytes of internet per month for uh, $25. Uh, Verizon, I believe it's about the same thing. Uh, T-Mobile, uh, there's not a limit, but after you reach a certain amount, like 2 gigabytes, they start slowing down your speed. Um, so, and, and then that, that's the thing, they, they either add on charges or they, uh, they just slow down your speed for you, which is, is not, is not cool. And I, what I would like to know today is the companies out there, they're trying to promote 4G. You want to make it so people have faster internet access. However, they need to do something about these limits. They can't remain the same place where they are now. They either have to be raised or they have to allow for unlimited or, or in my opinion, what I think is best is allow for unlimited package but charge a hefty price for the, for the people who actually do need unlimited. Uh, currently, Sprint's the only one that offers unlimited internet. Uh, and, uh, you know, that, that's, that's cool and everything, but... I don't know how long uh, Sprint can make that last. Uh, uh, eventually, there's going to have to become a point where people are, are using the, their uh, the smartphones. The, the data might be putting a heavy, um, heavy toll or and burden on their uh, on their telephone uh, lines and everything. So it may come to a point where Sprint's going to have to decide. Well, I guess we have to get rid of unlimited data. But I mean, who knows? Uh, I'm just, you know, trying to state out there that the limits, the caps for for data usage have to be increased if the companies are serious about producing this uh, 4G. Right now, 4G is only limited in the big cities, you know, New York, uh, New York, LA, you know, you name it. Any one of those big cities, they have them available. But again, yeah, you get your internet fast, which is great, but it's just gonna encourage you to use more internet. It's gonna suck up. You're, you're, if you use 4G right now, I guarantee that two gigabytes is gonna go fast. So, um, uh, let me ask you this: Whoever does currently use 4G, if you're watching this video, uh, post a comment. Tell me uh, what you think. Do, do you see uh, that you use the internet a lot? Uh, do you ever reach your limit, or have you ever gone over your limit? Um, and if so, I mean, how much have they charged you? I'm pretty sure they put a hefty price, uh, you know, so so many megabytes over that they charge you so much. And, you know, it just builds up. Um, but, yeah, uh, I think that there definitely has to be something done with these limits. They have to certainly increase them. Uh, if people, you know, if, if they're serious about promoting this 4G for everyone. Uh, I mean, like I said before, the best thing available would have would be for all these companies to have an unlimited package for the people who truly need unlimited internet at again a, a hefty price so um let me know what you think uh, post your comments down below and um and please tell me your opinion and what you think on it bye